everyone and welcome to the Canadian Quilt Talk quick and easy tutorial. I'm Brandy Lynn and today we're going to make a fun and simple wine bottle bag. So let's get started. First, here's what you need to make a simple wine bottle bag. You need a piece of fabric, 12 inches wide by 20 inches long. You also need a piece of ribbon, 20 inches long. I like to choose a ribbon that when you cut it, it doesn't fray. You can also choose a ribbon that has a wire in it, so when you tie it, it holds a nice bow. First thing to consider is whether your sewing machine can sew inside a cuff. So when you have the bag sewn together, you want to make sure the base of your machine can fit in here to sew around the cuff. So I'll show you two ways to sew that in case you don't have a machine that can sew a cuff. If you don't have a machine that can sew a cuff, you'll fold your wine bottle bag four inches in. Make sure it's about four inches. And then you'll sew along the finished edge, quarter inch in, and you'll also sew a line a quarter inch away from the raw edge. So you have your finished top. Then you'll start with the fold and inserting your ribbon. If you do have a machine where you can remove the base and sew a narrow cuff, you leave this open. So let's get started on inserting the ribbon. Choose the top of your bag and measure 9 to 10 inches down to insert your ribbon. Fold your ribbon in half and insert it between 9 and 10 inches from the top. Once you have your ribbon in place, pin it. Now fold your bag in half lengthwise, ensuring that the ribbon is out of the way. Now sew the length of your bag and the bottom. Once you have your bag sewn, then you want to make the boxed bottom. So make sure that your ribbon is hanging out the top so you don't sew it into your boxed bottom. Get your hand in there. Tuck the middle and make two triangles out of your bag. Now you can see that my triangles are very uneven, so you want to work those until they're even. You want to make this seam line up with the inner seam so that your angles are right lined up together. Once you have your angles folded, you want to draw a line one and a quarter inches in from the tip. Not the point of the raw edge of the fabric, but the tip of your triangle. So measure one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter, make sure that everything's lined up straight. Measure one and a quarter inches and draw a line. Fold it up. Same thing for the bottom one, one and a quarter inches, and draw the line. Then you want to sew on those two lines. Once you've sewn on the marked lines, snip the triangles off a quarter inch away from your sewn line. Then you'll have your boxed bottom. And it looks like this. Once you have your boxed bottom, you want to tuck your ribbon all the way into the bottom of your bag so that you don't sew it when you're making the cuff. You can see that I've already folded my cuff down wrong sides together, but you want it four inches. Mine's a little bit too big. You only want it about four inches because you've inserted your ribbon about between nine and ten inches and you don't want to go over that ribbon. So now that you can see it's about four inches, you want to make sure it's even on both sides. Take this line that's folded over, make it the same on both sides so that it lies flat. Once you have that cuff you insert it on your machine, you sew a nice edge, quarter inch in, and then you go again and you sew a quarter inch away from the raw edge, all the way around turning this around your machine. Once you have your cuff sewn, you're completely done. Just turn the wine bottle bag, choose your favorite bottle of wine, get it inside, and tie a lovely bow. Voila, a beautiful gift perfect for any dinner. There are all kinds of ways to piece or embellish a bag before construction. 
the key is that you want to center your design between 2 inches and 10 inches on your bag. So if this is your top, you want 2 inches from the bottom and 10 inches down from the top. That's where you want to center your design. You want to remember that you're going to be folding the top down 4 inches to create your cuff. So here's where the design will be featured. First, let's talk piecing. You can piece your wine bottle bag together in any way that you can possibly imagine. You can do curved piecing, diagonal piecing, stripes, or even quilted patchwork. You can see that this wine bottle bag is made with two pieces of fabric pieced together with curved piecing. Second, let's get into a few fun ways to embellish. This wine bottle bag is made with Shiva paint sticks. You can see that I simply used a black piece of fabric and I painted curved lines. So here's how you do it. You take a piece of tape, you simply cut it in a nice curvy line. Once you have those curved pieces, you can put them on a piece of fabric in any way that you like. You simply crack open the layer on top and use a stenciling brush to brush between the lines of your tape. Once you have all the lines covered, you take the tape off and you're finished with a lovely design that leaves the black fabric exposed. First, I used glue and foil. I laid several beads of glue across the fabric. Once I had the glue on there, I put a piece of paper over top of it, pressed it flat, and peeled it away. This left a nice flat textured effect. Once the glue is dry and tacky, you simply lay the foil across it, press the foil face down on the glue, and peel the foil paper away. This leaves a beautiful gold foiled texture. The second technique on this bag is the felting. I laid some gorgeous wool across the bag and then I felted it all in place. It's completely adhered to the bag. Another option is to lay the fibers across and you can couch them on using a zigzag stitch. If we go back to the bag with the curved piecing, you can see that I've also done a Thermofax screen design. These designs are so fun and simple. Here's how you do it. If you want to create a simple Thermofax screen design, all you need to do is buy a Thermofax screen, a squeegee, and a bottle of screen printing ink. All of these products are available, plus a free online tutorial at brandylindesigns.com. The last embellishment technique I'll talk about today to put on your wine bottle bag is dissolving stabilizer. This is such a fun technique. You can see that I have a rectangle sewn onto my wine bottle bag on an angle. All you do is cut out the dissolving stabilizer in the size of a rectangle that you desire. Once you have the stabilizer, you simply sew all kinds of scraps all over the stabilizer with simple strands of thread. Once you have your stabilizer completely covered, then you rinse it completely and the stabilizer completely washes away. Once it's dry, you're left with a rectangle of this fabric that you've created yourself. You stitch it around the edge and adhere it to your wine bottle bag. At the end, I simply couched on a few bits of white yarn to create three snowflakes. Simple as that. Thank you for watching the Canadian Quilt Talk quick and easy tutorial. Find more workshops at www.brandylindesigns.com.